Hello, 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 hello there, friends and family. Welcome to the Navas Kitchen. Today, I'm bringing you my rich Ghanaian salad. Yes, friends, we're preparing this party style. So whoever you're hosting at that party, your family, your friends, your loved ones, they're going to find this salad to be unforgettable. Easy to put together. So friends, let's have some fun. Yeah, so as you can see, I have been shopping. I have all fresh produce. I picked the best out of the bunch. This is the cream of the crop. So after meticulous selection of your ingredients, you want all of your equipments and your tools to be ready. You want to make sure you give them a good rinse before you even begin the preparation. And with your fresh produce, you want to scrub them up really well and run some water on them before you prep because a majority of this preparation is not going to involve heat application. So therefore we want to do our best to destroy any impurities that might be present. So I have a bonus potato salad in this recipe. So keep on watching. What you see here is three potatoes, the red skin potato and two kinds of sweet potato also called yams here and I've diced them all up. Now I'm also going to be including some hard boiled eggs so what I do is also wash the eggs because we all know where eggs come from the back end so we want to wash them well especially because we're going to be cooking them in the same pot as the potatoes so I have added some salt and some water and it's going onto the stove and I'm going to cook it for about 12 minutes until the potatoes are al dente and the eggs are cooked hard boiled and for the onion, you want to do the same thing. Wash it with the skin on first before you begin prepping. Just because we all know it's been handled by different people, been on different surfaces, and you want to make sure it's clean before you cut it so that you don't transfer the impurities on the skin onto the actual vegetable. And then rinse it afterwards. And then proceed by evenly slicing them using a mandolin or a sharpened knife and place them in a nice water bath to remove that pungent onion bite while keeping them crunchy. Now I'm using two kinds of lettuce for this recipe. So I have the green and I also have the other kind that has the red hue just for presentation. So I'm thinking ahead. So there it is. So first thing I do is separate the leaves by removing the end and then I prepare a water and white vinegar solution and wash them for the first time in the solution and then place maybe four of the leaves on top of each other and proceed to remove the core by trimming the leaves away from the core on both sides just like that and then I roughly chop them. I like them quite large, so I chop them into large pieces. And then I place them back into a new vinegar and water solution to wash them a second time. Now our eggs and the potatoes have been cooking for 12 minutes. Potatoes are nice and al dente. Eggs are perfectly hard boiled, so run some cold water on both of them to stop the cooking and help cool them down sooner than later and then leave the eggs in a cold water bath and set them aside while they cool down now friends this is the third but not the last cleansing of the lettuce in the water and vinegar solution since we're not going to be cooking these leaves it is essential that you thoroughly clean them so what i do is after every cleansing i pitch the solution of water and vinegar and prepare another one and then toss the leaves back into it give it a quick rinse and take them out and drain them now you could alternatively leave the lettuce in the water and vinegar solution and just let them soak while the impurities get destroyed but that has the potential to wilt the leaves from the acidity in the vinegar so that's why I do it multiple times now I've prepared another water and vinegar solution to cleanse the rest of my fresh produce 
So there is your cucumber and grape or cherry tomatoes sitting in the water and vinegar solution. I'll leave them for a few minutes while I spin the lettuce because we don't want our salad to end up being soupy. Now, very important friends, let me mention that the first water and vinegar solution I used to clean the lettuce was stronger than the last, okay? So as I cleaned them, and I did them four times, it, it gets weaker as we go. Then why? Because I don't want the leaves to become limp from the vinegar, okay? All right, so I spin it and look at how much water we got out of there. So pitch that, and I'm going to spin it a second time. Every time I spin my salad, my little boy, who's five years old, he is very fascinated <laughs> by this tool. So he wanted to help mom. So thank you, Zawadi. It was fun doing this with you. <laughs> He's so adorable. All right, so we spin it a second time. And here, we got all of the water out. Set that aside. We are almost done prepping all of our ingredients. Now the carrots have been washed and peeled and now I am shredding them, giving them the spaghetti-like treatment, which is how I like it, but you don't have to treat yours that way. You can chop them or um, julienne them with your knife or whatever. It doesn't matter. They, they are still carrots. <laughs> Now the tomatoes which just came out of the water and vinegar solution, I just cut them up in two to half them. You can quarter yours. Either way, it'll still be as pretty and delicious. Onions are ready. They are looking upright because they've been sitting in that ice water bath for about 15 minutes. When you prep your onions another way, which is in a brine solution, they don't stay upright as much. They actually become a little limp, but they also lose their bite, that strong onion bite. So you can prep them two ways, in the ice water bath or in the um, brine solution, depending on the preference of your outcome. Now the cucumber has also been prepped two ways, cut into discs and also diced the other half because I'll be using them two ways, so keep on watching. Eggs have been peeled. It is now time to prepare our salad dressing. Now for the dressing, I will be incorporating mayonnaise. I wanted to prepare my own mayonnaise using avocado oil, but I found avocado mayonnaise at the store. So I was like, win, win for me. So here we go. I am scooping a generous amount into the bowl. I have added some coarsely ground black pepper, and now I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. followed by avocado oil to thin up the mayonnaise. Now I'm adding some white vinegar to bring us some tang and an optional ingredient, celery seeds. I love the flavor it brings to this salad dressing. Here is some more tang um, by way of Dijon mustard. And now I'm going to add a mild oniony flavor to the salad dressing by incorporating chives, which is like spring onion. So if you don't have chives, use some spring onions. And to brighten this rich salad dressing up, we're going to add the juice of one lime. And the citrus notes is just amazing in the salad dressing. Now this is some honey for a background hint of sweetness and then turmeric plus the black pepper and the lime juice give you anti-inflammatory properties. Now we just added the oil from sardines because that's how we throw it down when it comes to our salads in Ghana. We don't get rid of the oil oil from the sardines whisk it all together and you have the most beautiful salad dressing ready to go next we're going to split up the salad dressing into two set one aside because we're going to use that to actually dress the salad pretty soon 
and the other half we would use in preparing our bonus potato salad recipe. Here it goes. So I've poured in our boiled potatoes and now I am thinly slicing these radishes into it for a radishing crunch and finish. Boy oh boy, this potato salad was so good because it has the sweet potatoes, so you get that hint of sweetness in there. It is rich but refreshing at the same time. So we're getting that bright, fresh crunch from the radishes and from the cucumber. So, you know, you're getting these beautiful textures. Toss them together, but be careful because you don't want to crush your potatoes. The potatoes have a softer, texture in comparison to the other ingredients in there so you need that variety to create that interest while you're eating it so all of our components are ready to assemble our rich yet refreshing Ghanaian salad so here is our salad bowl and make sure it doesn't have any water in it after you rinsed it out and here is a show-stopping moment. Yes, friends and family, I prepared my own homemade baked beans. And if you don't know Ghanaian salad, yes, we incorporate baked beans in our salad, okay? To make it even richer, like it's not already rich. <laughs> All right, so if you're interested in learning how I put together this homemade baked beans, please hit me up in the comment section and let me know and I will hook you up. So now we're assembling. First, we have the first layer is our lettuce, squeaky clean. We add our homemade baked beans, followed by some onions. Make it look pretty. And make sure that you evenly distribute all the components. So when you go into one small section to dish your salad, you get every bit of ingredient that we used in this salad on your plate. As we assemble the stunning salad, let's talk about the salad dressing itself. So you saw that we made it from the scratch using avocado mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is made from eggs, fat or oil, and an acid such as vinegar or lime or lemon juice. So, you know, it's rich, it's packed with a lot of calories that might not be necessarily healthy for you. So that's why I decided to go with an avocado-based mayonnaise and use avocado oil instead of just any regular oil. Um, you could also substitute with olive oil as well. Yes, this salad is a beast when it comes to being packed with lots of calories, but it does not have to be unhealthy. So here is the sardines. Now I have on this channel how I prepared my own homemade sardines. The link to the video is in the description box so be sure to check it out as well. So we're repeating the same layers, okay, a second time. And remember, you are painting a Picasso, the Mona Lisa of paintings so make it look pretty especially at this point because this is the last layer all right so at this point i'm segregating all the components so that when you look at the salad um firsthand you can tell what ingredients were incorporated into the salad if that makes sense so yeah that all goes on all the components and separate them kind of and then we're going to drizzle that healthy mayonnaise um, avocado mayonnaise based dressing onto this pretty salad here it goes ah how satisfying is this right here oh <laughs> I was so happy with the salad. Oh, it was so, 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 so good. I thank you all so much for watching. Make it a great day, friends and family, and have fun, especially in that kitchen.